welcome back to the channel gaming for xp i hope you are all well today and i'm going to follow on from the video that i did last week on the basics of building and today what we're going to do is we're going to look at um if you decide to add mods to your game what mods should you use to help you build now these mods are not going to be um, mods that give you building items as such. These will help you with the building process. Now, for those of you who do not know, I play and build on a console on Xbox One. But what I'm going to try and do today is I will give you alternatives for um, PS4, for PlayStation 4. Understand that I don't have a PlayStation 4, at least I don't play Fallout 4 on PlayStation 4, so I can only point you in the direction of some mods and um, you might have to do some due diligence before you download them, but from the ones that I've found they look as though they're rated pretty highly and um, they shouldn't give you too much trouble. So let's get into the mods that we need to consider if we're going to use mods for building in Fallout 4. So I'm going to show you a total of six mods today and it's the it's not the actual mod that you need to pay attention to but the actual type of mod that it is. So um, the first mod we're going to look at is no build limit and this is available for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox. And essentially what this does is it gives you a no build limit for your settlement. So you don't have to worry about the uh, glitching trick that I showed you with the weapons from last video you can just enable this mod and it will give you the build limit for all settlements now this particular version is an all DLC version I'm not sure if there's a non DLC version of not or not um, you might need to check that out and the author is Storm Lord so great um, Great mod, I will show you later on in this video right at the end where these all fit in the load, the mod load order, so don't panic too much. So next mod. So this is unlimited crafting supplies container and this is Xbox, I think in PC specifically, now this is Xbox. What this does is it, it leaves a um, container, you can see that on the picture there, the, the truck just outside vault 111 and it gives you a huge amount of resources and you can see 65,000 of wood, steel etc etc and so what I generally do is that I collect all of that, dump it in sanctuary and then I link all my settlements to sanctuary. What you can also do and I'll show you a Another mod in a while, you can actually fast travel a while incumbent if you just want to dump it in a particular settlement and I'll show you how that works in a little while but unlimited crafting supplies, container or something similar, something that has unlimited material supplies. The only thing I could really find for PlayStation is Freemaker so um, if anybody's got any suggestions on other mods for PlayStation 4 that fit this category please leave a comment down below. So, moving right along to the next mod. This mod is Settlements Tweaks, but it is actually a scrapping mod, and you need a good scrapping mod um, for your settlement. Um, again, this is an Xbox One, but there are plenty of scrapping mods around. I think for PlayStation 4, scrap that settlement is probably the one that I've heard of most. I know for PC there's plenty of these around. And essentially this just allows you to scrap pretty much everything in your settlement if you want to. Now, one thing that I will say, what you have to be careful with the scrapping mods and, and some of the experiences that I've had in in the uh, past some of them will be limited to what they will allow you to scrap and they will be limited to which settlements they will allow you to scrap in this one does all settlements i haven't had too many dramas where i couldn't 
scrap anything. The only place that it wouldn't scrap was at Cutler's Bend and that's pretty much because I am using Workshop anywhere and I think it just will not work with that mod and that Cutler's Bend isn't a normal settlement. So get yourself a scrapping mod it will be invaluable for getting rid of all the things that you really don't want in your settlement. So moving on this is probably the most used mod in my arsenal and it is place anywhere and I just love love that love this mod as you would see if you watch my builds um, I think it's place called place everywhere on PC and certainly on PS4 it, um, it's called Quapa so whichever version you want to get um, I have a tutorial on place anywhere and I'll leave a link about now so that you can see it but essentially this um, this is absolutely fantastic and it, it basically does what your pillar or your rug glitching does but it goes so so much further in, in what it can do. Check out the tutorial, place it anywhere, whatever it, the version you use will just help you so much with the building process. And so next on the list, get all perks mod is great because it, it fills up all your perks um, so you don't have to worry about getting cap collector, you don't have to get worry about getting local leader or anything. You can use all the perks and they're, they work all great and you don't have to worry about going off and questing in the Commonwealth. Um, there are a few for PlayStation 4. Um, I, got, I found one called Increased Perks Ranks and a few others. So this just stops you having to go out into the Commonwealth all the time questing and coming back so that you unlock certain levels of certain perks to be able to build things. This is also the mod that will allow you to fast travel throughout the Commonwealth when you are incumbent. Remember I was talking about that a little bit earlier. So um, check out your equivalent. It will save you so much time and heartache. And so finally the last mod that I would um, suggest that you grab is a drum roll. Only clear weather for the Commonwealth and this is available also for um, PlayStation 4. I found a version of it on PlayStation 4 and the uh, PC it's certainly available. Um, there's a couple of versions of this mod. It's uh, It can be either non-DLC or DLC. This one I think just covers the Commonwealth. I don't think it covers Far Harbour and whatnot. But I don't tend to um, I don't tend to build in Far Harbour or in Nuka World at this point. And basically this is more this mod for me is really a bonus mod because it allows you to um, it allows you to build and have clear weather for YouTube and you don't have to worry about the weather cycles and so that's um, it's a godsend when you're videotaping or recording for YouTube but if you don't like the weather cycles all the time this is a great mod so what about mod load, load order? So I have them sitting under all the kind of workshop rearranged US all that kind of stuff and this is the this is the kind of order I have them in. No build limit first, then the old perks mod, crafting supplies um, and I've got a couple of those. Um, settlement tweaks which is your scrapping mod and only clear weather at the bottom. Now Place Anywhere actually sits right up at the top of the load order and you can see I've got these all switched off because I was obviously doing Gaming for XP Plays Fallout 4. It sits right up the top there and that's where I like to have it. So there you go guys, there's six essential mods that will help you in the building process. Stop some of the um, frustration and will really push you ahead. If you would like me to cover some of the best kind of mods that add items into the game in the next video i'm happy to do that leave some comments below and let me know what you need to know to get started building in fallout 4. okay guys thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel gaming for xp saying see ya